Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Toonie School, and on this Text Tuesday, it's our second video in the two-part video series. We're showing you how to use the HP Tuners Tune Repository on the new and improved HP Tuners website, as well as how to use the compare feature in the new 4.0 software. So in the first video, we covered how to use the HP Tuners Tune Repository to actually find a file to compare with. So if you guys didn't catch that video, make sure that you go back and watch it. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use the VCM 4.0 editor to look at a main file and a compare file and how to carry differences between the two of them. So let's go ahead and jump right in it. So here I have HP Tuner software version 4.0. And the first thing we have to do if we wanna use the compare file is we have to actually open up a main file. So the file that we wanna modify. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to file and open and we're going to select our example file for today, which is going to be from a 2004 Silverado. So in a second here, it'll pull up and I've actually got this down here on the thumb drive. So you see it says file pull. So this is the file pull from that Silverado. So now that I've got that main file open, what we're going to do is we're going to actually open the compare file. So we're going to come up here to compare after it loads in one second. So we're going to actually come up here to compare. We're going to select compare and we're going to select open compare file. Now this is the point where we're gonna locate that file that we actually pulled off of the repository in the last video. So we're gonna go here to Downloads, and we're gonna select the 04 Silverado stock file. And we're gonna click on, double click on it. So the first thing that you'll notice right away is there's actually some green tables in here. So there was tables that were not green before, but now they are. When they're green, it represents that they're actually different between the two files. So for an example, we're gonna open up this mass airflow table here. So when we open it up, we have a couple of different options for how we can actually view it. So what we have, if you'll notice, is we have a blue, a uh, little box with a blue icon right here, which is show main file. So that's the file that we have pulled up. Then we have a box with a little red star that says show compare file. So that's what it's gonna be like when the file used to be unchanged. So this is what it, the file used to look like, cause it's the compare file. Then we have this last box here where it says show differences. So this is actually the numerical differences between the two files. Now we could do a couple of things here if we actually wanna put this table back to stock. What we can do is we can come in here and you can highlight the entire compare file, right click copy, come over to the main file and you can right click and select paste to carry over the differences. Or an easier way to do it a lot of times is you can actually highlight the show differences icon here, take the whole entire thing and you just would zero it out. So I would highlight the whole table and click zero in this text box and click equals. So what that's done is there's now zero difference between the two files. So you see I can click back and forth between them and they're exactly the same. So that's how you're gonna set those files back to stock for a, a table. Now you have options as well, like if we go look at fuel and we go look at the power enrichment section, you see we have fields. So we have fields here that we can actually change. And we, you notice we have those same show main file, show compare file, and show differences here at the top. So I can go here and look at what the compare file looks like. I can come over here and show differences. If I wanted to change it, I can be in the differences, come in here, put it in zero, go back to the main file, and you'll see that it actually has been changed. So there's an additional way that we can actually view the differences between the main file and the compare file. What we would call that is a view comparison log. So what we do is we come up here to compare, and we go back down here to view comparison log. Now this thing is pretty cool because it's a giant overview of everything that has been changed. And I'll make it a little bit bigger here so you can see it. So it's a giant overview of everything that has been changed. And what's actually really cool is if I take any of these items and I double click on it, it'll actually pull up that specific table. So then I can change that specific table, which is a pretty neat feature. But what I can also do is I can right click on this right here, on this specific table, and I can say copy over selected differences and it's gonna copy over that exact table. Now I can actually do this for entire sections, like let's say the fuel section. I can right click on the fuel section here and say copy over selected differences, and it's gonna carry over all of the differences and make them the same between the two tune files that I have open. Now the last thing that I can do, which is really helpful if I'm trying to just set an entire file back to stock, is I can right click inside of here and select copy over all differences. So if I click that button, you'll see that it carried over all the difference. The comparison log is now blank, which means the two files are now identical, which means I've taken my main file and I've essentially set it back to stock. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you're able to use it in your day-to-day -day tuning. 
in case you need to set that tune file back to stock. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you follow us on social media and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also check out our other videos. And if you're interested in any tuning products, check out our website.